Hey guys, what's going on? So today I want to share with you how to up level, okay, up level your online presence and transform your business. So are you ready to up level the game and start attracting people to you that, that you want, right? Or <laughs> you might be at this place right now that having the right kind of people to reach out to would be like an amen blessing. So let me just tell you a story. When I first started out, and you might be here too, when I first started out, I felt like this. I was desperate. Like how many of you are desperate? So it's like, if you've got a pulse and you are breathing, I want you in my business. How many of you feel the same way? Make sure to drop it below and let me know. I want to say hi to all of you, okay? So welcome, Chargers. And let me tell you a little bit who I am. My name is Becky Lefebvre, better known as Becky in Charge, because I help you take charge of your business, your online business. So if you are a busy woman, you're a network marketer, entrepreneur, and you are looking to build your business, your presence, your brand, and you want to slay online and start living the lifestyle that you love, well, that's what I do. That's what I coach and train on. So you're in the right place. Um, so here's the thing. If you were like me in the beginning, you start your business and you're just so excited and you're like, if you got a pulse and you're breathing, I want you in my business. Well, I can tell you right now, that's the worst thing, right? That is the worst thing. I brought in so many people that were not good for my business because of that. And you end up working with people or not even working with people, right? At all. Because you didn't bring, you didn't attract the right ones. So, you know, if you, you need to start like really looking at people and start um, thinking, do I really want to be working with somebody that is X, Y, and Z? Do they have the qualifications that I really want to start working with them? Because trust me, not everybody is your soulmate, right? That you're going to work with. Let's just keep it real. So, and if you are one of these, like you finally get somebody that says, yes, they want to take a look at your business and they look at your business and you're like hanging by the phone. Well, did you look at it? Did you look at it? Uh, and you feel like this stalker type of person. <laughs> We've all been there. But hashtag guilty if you have been guilty of like constantly watching and like you, you're like ready to jump, ready to jump on them, right? And you're like, oh, is this ever going to work? Well, here's the thing. They smell desperado all over you. And if they're a little hesitant about wanting to do an online business, um, thinking, because most people, this is what they think. They have a lot of fear around it. Can I do it? Does it really work? I've heard certain things about it. You know, there's a lot of objections going on. And if you're constantly hounding that person to join you, your posture is not strong enough. You don't need anybody, right? This is an opportunity that you can guide somebody to make extra money in their, in their, in life period, right? Whether it's a full-time or a part-time income. And so you need to slow down and, and not be like the hunted, you know, like you're hunting this person down and really give them time to take in and let them see it that you don't need them, right? That you're postured up. This is the biggest thing. You need to posture yourself up so people see that you understand what you got going on here and they need time to make a decision for themselves because listen, this ain't for everyone, okay? And another thing, I have noticed a lot of still to this day, and there's a lot of new people coming on this platform. This is nowhere near me bashing, but me informing, okay? We need to stop spamming our page with our products, and we need to stop spamming our links all over our page. Because here's the problem. At first, when you do it, you're so excited. We've all been there because that's what our leaders tell us to do. 
and wipe out your you wipe out people that you could potentially talk to okay and so if you could potentially talk to this person about your business well they already know you're in a business so they're probably not going to talk to you because like I said, nobody likes to be sold to, but everybody wants to buy. So if you're busy spamming your stuff out there, there's no room for them to talk to you. And plus, if you are spamming, they're like, they know you're in a business and they got their best friend Google on speed dial. Okay. And now they don't need to talk to you. This is why I speak so much about branding yourself and not your company. Posture up, right? Posture up that you have something amazing. So you need to learn if you're out there spamming your links and your products, it just means you need to learn how to do it the right way because you're going to continue to do this and you're going to burn out everybody you know and your business is going to come to a stall and you're not going to get any further and you're going to go, this thing doesn't work when you could have been the next six figure earner. Just saying. And I want you to think about how are you teaching your team? If you're not getting um, duplication in your business, this could be the reason why, because you've taught your team to spam and that's not working either. So stop doing it, posture up. And so if you're hashtag guilty, put hashtag guilty below. I was one of them for a while until I learned. And this is why I'm teaching you, right? Okay. So I really started, so back in the day and how I learned this, I really started learning the language, right? I started learning the language of different people that were successful in their mindset. They were busy growing it every single day, right? They were leveling up. They were posturing up. So they were um, working on their mindset every day. They started showcasing Here's the difference in spamming. Started showcasing their successful wins, okay? So starting to showcase your, your successful wins, your team's wins are huge. Social proof, right? People want social proof that this is actually working for you. Now, you could say, Becky, um, you know, that's great because you know, you have a huge team. So, you know, you could put out, um, you know, Jan just made an extra 500 in her business or, um, you know, because th when you think about it, most people only want to make an extra five to a thousand dollars a month. Literally, that's all. They're not looking to be the six figure earners. There is one or one percent to three percent of people that actually want that, believe it or not. Most people just want an extra five to thousand dollars, and that's great. Love where they're at. Our team alone did a hundred thousand dollars in two days. So, you know, showcase that, showcase the wins. Now, you could be saying, Well, Becky, I just got started, so I don't have any of that. That's okay. You have a team, utilize your team, utilize. Uh, what's going on in there? Borrow their success stories. This is huge. Um, people need to see other people winning. Shout them out, right? Shout them out. Okay, so a great place to utilize this. Hey, Peyton, nice to see you here, honey. So a great place to see this is in your stories. Utilize your stories like crazy because you're probably going to get more people watching you there than anything, okay? So you could say something like this. Oh, my goodness. You could put this in your stories or on your page. This is telling a success story. Debbie just hit three ranks. She's never been able to do that before in her past business, if she's been in a past business. Um, if this is her first time, you could say this is her first time and she's already hit through, um, hit through three ranks, juggling her busy life and as being a nurse, right? So it showcases her busy, right? But she's been able to fit this in the nooks and crannies of her life. So let me get a round of applause. Let's congratulate her. I'm so proud of her. That's something that you can put into your stories. That's something that you can put on your page that tells a story instead of putting your product up, buy my stuff. It never hurts to celebrate others, right? 
where have where have we all become where we can't celebrate each other like we're sisters here people let's celebrate each other that's what it should be all about no matter what you're doing in life can we just learn to celebrate each other jump on say hi tell me where you're coming in from don't be a stranger okay so um moving on so think about here's another thing that I watched successful people doing and started doing. Interview somebody in your business. Interview your customers, interview your upline, interview somebody that, you know, maybe you're a coach like I am too, and I can interview other people in different industries, and what it does is it adds value to my page, right? I get in front of more people, it helps the other person, it helps me, and it helps you because we're all on a mission to help each other. So the more we learn, the more we grow. And it's a beautiful thing that we have this platform to do. Can I get a high five across the globe here? Give me a high five below and say yes. Here's another thing, I want you to up level your content. Yes, I said it, up level your content to value based. People are so sick of CNN, okay? Are you sick of CNN? They're sick of seeing the news. We all know there's a virus, right? We all know. I'm not saying don't be informed, but what I'm saying is level up your content, okay? Can I get an amen? Because if you need to hear anything, you can go Google it. You can watch the news. People come to social media to be socializing, right? They come to learn. They come to have fun. So I want you to level up your game. Here's the thing. Level up. Get people to love, like, and trust you. That's number one, okay? You can show them, um, you know, show up and really show your heart. Like, I, I get on my platform. I, I educate. I show who I am. Um, you know, I share my wins and I do share other stuff besides that, but these are the things that people want to see, right? A lot of people are hurting right now, so how can you give add value? How can you help them? Quit being all about you. Give me, give me, give me. Start giving, right? Because in return, guess what happens? They give back. They will give back tenfold. So, People become, people become into your page if you level up. People will be coming to your page and go, whoa, what's going on? They're seeing you're leveling up. They'll start watching you, and that's what you want. Um, you know, we don't need any fakeness. We don't need any of that going on. Be you, right? You're good enough. Quits, I want you to stop thinking that you're not good enough to just show up and be you. Do selfies. Do selfie with the story behind it so people get to know your heart. Stop spamming your page, okay? Let's time to level up our presence. Level up our presence. Start believing in yourself. Impact equals income. Let me say that again. Impact equals income. How many people can you impact today? I'm gonna leave you with that. And also, if you are struggling, you don't know, like, Becky, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to put this up on my page. All this. Girl, slow your roll because I got your back, okay? I have a guide that I call MAP. What does it stand for? Massive Action Plan. You need the MAP. And it will teach you exactly what I have done to grow my social media platform. All right, you guys. As always, thank you so much. Drop MAP below. If you have any questions... You want to holler at me, you can catch me here, catch me over in Messenger, and I'm always here for you. All right, talk to you later. Bye.